Nice to see you again. God bless you. Really good. And I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus that the word of God, the word that you're about to hear, will bless your life. Will cause a great change in your life and cause you to drop laziness and face reality. This is my prayer for this video you're about for this video you're about to, 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 to listen to. I want you to just take your time and be blessed. <coughs> As we go on now to know the truth about what the enemy is using to destroy your life. Miracle. Searching for miracle miracle. Seeking for miracle. I want to guide you right now. I want to guide you right now into all truth. Okay, so in this video, um, I want to tell you something about miracle. Miracle. Okay, I want to tell you, if you remember, the miracle that occurred in the Bible that changed, that changed the course of life, that changed the history of life forever, is the miracle of Virgin Mary given birth to Jesus Christ. We understand that the that that angel Gabriel, God gave his word, God gave a word, God speak a word to angel Gabriel and told him to go and give that word to Mary. When angel Gabriel delivered the word to Mary, Mary received the word, that word of God is a word from God. Mary received that word of God inside of her. And that word get, get her pregnant. Get her pregnant. She was pregnanted by that word of God. And she carried that pregnancy. A woman with a, a, a virgin. A woman who did not know man. Conceived through the power of God's word. The word of God get her pregnant. She conceived. Carried the pregnancy and gave birth. And gave birth. Gave birth to, the, to, to, to a glorious son, a glorious child called Jesus Christ that saved the whole world, that ended up saving the whole world. This is the highest miracle that ever happened. Now, I want to tell you something. No man, no, no woman ever conceived. No woman ever conceived and give birth that same day. I'm a father of three. At least I'm talking. I do. I do like. I like to talk by what I experience by reality. I believe to speak from the experience that I know or that I gather. When my wife was pregnant of my first daughter, I understand she was pregnant one month, two months, three months, four months, till nine months before she gave birth to our first daughter. The same thing happened, second and the third. My second daughter, the same, my third, my son, the same thing. So, no woman ever conceived and gave birth that same day, or gave birth one month, or two months, or three months, or four months. If anything happened along the way, you might give birth around four months, or six months, you know, I am not, I am not a gynecologist, but I think with experience I can talk. The woman gave birth prematurely. Prematurely. Now, people go to church because Mary carried that baby, that, that a girl's child. Nine months, not show it, protect it. You can understand when a woman is, a woman is pregnant. The woman has to be careful not to fall, to be protecting that child, nurturing that child, you know, you know, carrying the baby with care. Not allowing anything that will harm the baby to happen to her. The woman will watch over the baby until nine months for that, for that baby to be delivered. And the people go to church today and they say they want a miracle. And the pastor pray for them today. And they want it to happen now. Pastor tell them, by fire, by force, it must happen now. It is not true. It is not true. 
Even God, our God, go ahead and tell you that use a seed. A seed. His, the word of God is a seed. That once that word is planted, if you plant a seed, it also takes a due process. It takes a due process to germinate, to grow before it begins to bear fruit. Like some tree, like a mango tree, or like um, a, a, a orange, orange tree. It takes it, it, it takes time to grow, to grow and become full mature to give birth, to, to bear fruit. And God's word is a seed. It takes a process. It takes a process. If we truly we are under the anointing, under the true anointing, under the spirit, under 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 the under a man that is having God's spirit. If the man releases a word to you, that word has entered. When a woman is pregnant, nobody knows. But as time goes on, you will see the, the belly you know, growing bigger and bigger, getting bigger and bigger. But initially, nobody knows. This is how it is. When the word of God is planted in front of you, it is already there. You are pregnant of that immediately. But it takes time to deliver. Because it is something that lasts, lasts forever. So, a pastor will pray for you, or you are jumping up and down that you want it to happen now. That will have to happen now. It's not a miracle. That is not a miracle. That is a magic. Magicians. Magic is something that Happen immediately and without immediately. Without immediately. So what I'm trying to tell you is that the word of God takes a process. It takes a process. It's not something that you receive, though some happen. Even when Jesus prayed for some people to be healed, when they healed, he said, see that you sin no more. Otherwise, the worst thing will happen, the worst will come upon you. Even when you are healed by the Spirit of God, you have to Totally abs totally hands up from anything that look like sin. Otherwise, that thing will come back again. The only thing you need to work on is to stay away from sin. Bible says, now that you are saved, now that you are saved, what next? Say so walk out your salvation with fear and trembling. When you give it out to Christ, you are saved. But you have to take time to work it out. To work out that salvation, it's also a process. Now, you, you know, nobody got saved today and tomorrow begin to preach. Like what you are seeing today in the world, in Nigeria, in America. Somebody just get to and say, oh, I was feeling something, something happened to me and, 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 and I begin to preach. God said, I begin to preach. No. There is a time for training, for God to train you. The process you have to pass through is for you to know God. And to know what he wants from you and what he what he don't want from you, and to know to receive direction from him, and to be equipped before going to look for somebody to preach to or to to save. You are saved. You must be rooted in your salvation. To make things uh, short and and easy, if anybody tells you that. Miracle, I will pray for you now. Money will flow, money will have flow now. I will pray and money will begin to come from come from heaven. I will pray now for you and the fire will descend. I will I will pray now and somebody will call you immediately and give you millions of dollars or pounds or whatever, whatever. They are all liars. Even God, our God, He designed the whole the whole earth. He spent six days. Six days. Laboring to bring out this beautiful world. Why can't God say, okay, it happened now. This happened now. This, you know, why can't he just command everything immediately? But he takes time to create, to create. God created something you create, something you take time to labor, something you take time to labor, not something that you just say, now, this will happen. Now, it's a magician. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a which is a wizard, it's a magical powers that does something like that. That does something. God is a God that work out things. That works out, work out things. That's why anything God does lasts forever. Jesus, his word lasts forever. If you have the word of God in your life, you will live forever. 
If God gave you something and you labor to bring it to life, that thing lasts forever. The reason African people today is jumping up and down for a pastor to pray for them or, 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 or do searching for ma 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 magic, not miracle, because they are lazy. God can never use a lazy man. God can never choose a lazy man. Everybody wants to be a pastor in Nigeria. Jump up and down because they want shortcut. If you truly know what is in this work of God, if you truly know what is in, what is in it, you not even. If you truly want to do it willingly, do it to, to please God. You will you will not like you. Will, if I say God, please leave me alone. If you truly want to do it and please God, it's not a small work. But because people want to use it to enrich themselves for their own selfish interest, that's why everyone is, 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 is pursuing, say, oh, 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 shouting, God, call me, God, use me, God, come. It's good for God. God will use all of us in one way or another, but not for all of us to be a pastor, not, not for all of us to be a preacher. No. No. No, it is abnormal. In the, in the Bible, the people that even, the, 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 the people that God called, they are running away because the work is not easy. Ask Apostle Paul what he passed through. Ask even Jonah. Jonah, run away. Say, I can't. Me, myself, even so many times I say, God, leave me alone. I say, God, I can, if I tell you my story, you know, I many times I say, God, just leave me alone because I am doing it. I want to do this to satisfy, to praise God. Not to use his name to lie. And it is not easy work. It is by his grace. Living a righteous life here on earth, you need heavenly and you need you know, heavenly assistance to do it here it's not a small work for you to be a, for you to be a child of god live the, the life that god wants from you as his child you need heavenly assistance every day that's why you must read your bible you, you, sometimes you fast you pray for god to help you to live that life the life that heaven is living you want to live it here it's not easy you need heavenly assistance to do it but people want it for their own selfish interest, for them to go and lie and deceive people and cause problems and pains to, to men and women. That's why they are all you know, jumping inside, inside, saying that God called them. If you truly want to do it in law, law shouting suicide. If you truly want to, like sometimes I even I take the one that I have and give to people. God said, take, take from you, give. Give to somebody. There's somebody that you are better with. Give to that person. So God, same God, we, we, we give people millions of dollars and pounds and the and the naira and the jet and everything, and God tell them say, don't give to anybody, stop God. This is not God. It's not God. It's not God. God that I know will tell you to use the one you have and give to people and give people and it be a blessing to people. So the word of God is the miracle that you need. If you are under under a man quartered, you know, quartered with God's spirit, a man, a vessel that that is carrying God's spirit, he will keep on using God's word, preaching the word of God to you. In a due season, you will you will shoot the blessing will will flow. As long as you are under the unction of the Holy Ghost, a day is coming to be like a dynamite. Your life will just boom. It is not a, a, a magic. It's something you, as you are hearing, you are receiving instruction, you are receiving direction, and you are walking in love, in, righteous, in righteousness. It will hit you one day. The blessing of God will flow. We, 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 we manifest like never before. It doesn't happen by just laying hand, by just sowing seed, by just taking a, a sweat of a man of God. It doesn't happen like that. It's when you receive the word of God, when you totally give your life to Christ, Knowing his word, knowing what's one from you, removing hand from wickedness and the evil, walking in righteousness, it will in due season manifest. Even Jesus did not even get up in one day I mean, I mean the carry crown. He waited, he walked it out for 33 years before it happened. But people are so lazy, especially in Africa, in Nigeria, they don't want to labor. Serving God, you have to labor, you have to work it out, you have to work it out. You have to, how many people that you have affected positively, that have, the, the, how, many, how many poor and needy you have given help, even in the midst of nothing. 
how many the, the, the good deeds you, you what you are doing in the midst of nothing is what shows that you're a child of God. So drop that listeners begin to find work to do, find something to do, look for work to do, look for something to lay your hands to, 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 to be doing. Bible says that God said that I will bless the works of your hands. Find something doing. Begin to read the word of read, read God's word. Pray. Stop jumping for miracle. Miracle doesn't come like that. The word of God is the miracle that you are searching for. Are you are, are, are you hearing the word of God? Are you under a man that is speaking and uh, preaching the word of God to you? You don't need to go and search for a man to lay hand or to for a man to 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 to, to, to decrease something. Just hearing that word, believing that word is the miracle that you are searching for. In due time, it will prosper. It will, it will, it, the, the prosperity will full. The prosperity will be full in your life, in your family, in everything that concerns you. Drop that laziness. Begin to work. Find work to do, Nigeria people. Find work to do, African people. Stop sleeping in the church. Stop cooking for your pastor. Stop washing his undies. Those things are not the thing that will cause you to prosper. That is the, the end of the whole thing is you end up searching for Yahoo Yahoo to do, money ritual to do. This is the thing that caused all manner of ritual. Ritual we are seeing today in Nigeria and Africa. Laziness is a disease. Drop that laziness. Drop that laziness. Begin to walk. Find something to do. If you if God has given you a talent of a, 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 of a carpenter, go ahead and do that carpenter. God will bless you. We prosper you through that. If God has given you a talent, if you have a talent of making hair, open a, a, a sand, go and learn handwork. Find something to do. If God has given you, you know, maybe you have an opportunity to go to school, go to school, study, learn something to, uh, 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 to, 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 to do when you finish your, your study. Study very, very well. Pay attention to your studies. Come out and be a pilot. Come out and be an engineer. Come out and be a doctor. Come out and be a teacher. Come out and be a good businessman. Try to develop yourself, Africa. Try to, try to, develop, to develop yourself. Try to make yourself somebody. The way you are following it is wrong. It's wrong. Laziness is what is driving you people. Drop laziness. Hook your life to the word of God. Try to know what God's word is saying. God's word, God, the word of God is the highest miracle that if you receive it in your life, in due season, prosperity, material, material things will follow you, material things will follow you, you, be, you become famous, you become powerful. Nobody will be as powerful as you are when you hook your life to the word of God. Nobody is as powerful as Jesus. He is the most powerful. He is the world greatest, world famous. So, he is an example for you to know that the word of God, he is the word of God. The word of God is the highest power that can make you to be wealthy, rich, famous, powerful. I want to read something for you. I will not let you go without hearing this. I'm reading the book of Isaiah chapter 55 from verse 10 to 11. For as the rain, for as the rain comes down and the snow from heaven and do not return there, but water the earth and make it bring forth and burn. That 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 it may that it may give seed, that it may give give seed to the sower and bread to the to the eater. So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth, it shall not return to me void, but it shall pro, but it shall accomplish, but it shall accomplish what I please, and it shall prosper in the thing, in the thing for which I sent it. This is God's word. So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please, and it shall prosper in the thing for which I send it. That's what, that's what I told you, that if a true man of God releases God's word upon you, you keep going to him, you keep releasing the true word of God to you, in due season, you will just boom, like a dynamite. You will just grow. 
You become great, become powerful, become famous, become wealthy. But the word of God is not magic. You have to work. You have to work it out together with him. You have to work that word together with him by doing what he wants to do and removing your hand from the thing that you say that you should not do. When you when you are following him, obediently, obediently following him. When you are obediently following the word of God, come on. In due season, your life you become a miracle. You become the miracle you are searching for. You yourself, you are, become a miracle. People, people will come to you, and you become a miracle. You become a blessing to people. Stop searching for miracle. The miracle is the word of God. Okay, God bless you. And stop jumping up and down for miracle. There's nothing like miracle in those things that you are searching for. Miracle is the word of God. 